Well, the uh, Mission Hills Alive found this little toy. This is a Class 1 streetcar from 1912. This was part of a house. Somebody rebuilt this as a, a house in El Cajon after the cars were retired and basically been preserved there inside a sheetrock until the 80s, early 90s. And somebody bought the house, took the streetcars out of it, and they ended up with three bodies that they're trying to restore and put back onto the trolley line. These were the first double truck cars that San Diego had. They used to use little two axle cars, basically like a horse car. But uh, John Spreckles came up with this idea for designing a car that was bigger and faster and more comfortable, carry more people, in time for the uh, 1915 Panama Exposition down at Balboa Park. Yeah, look at the detail on that. They did a lot of good hard work back in the old days doing the paint jobs on these. Just take a look at the look at the corner here. Look at that is absolutely beautiful. They're filming a promotional video today, so you can't go in, but you can come up along the side and take a look inside. Yeah, this end was enclosed. If the weather was bad, everybody could crowd in on this end and get out of the storms. These windows would slide up in case there was nice weather. They had very plush seats back then. See, those had the uh, velvet covers. They were very nice, very comfortable. Yeah, of course, back in those days, they didn't have the nice seats on the outside. This section was always exposed to the weather. I think they had some windows you could put in, maybe, but for the most part, it was San Diego, so you didn't really need much weather protection. So you come out here, get a nice breeze, maybe smoke your cigars. Hey, Start. the that side's been closed. He's uh -huh. about to close the two doors. Yeah. So on the cold, drizzly mornings, you could be warm on that end. Yeah. And on 99% of all the other days of the year, <laughs> you could ride in the open air. Now, these did have pull-down canvas window shades. Okay. So if it did rain, you could keep the rain and the wind out. And the window shades ran in the grooves. You can see them on the other side. Mm -hmm. So they were actually pretty rigid. So and you they would serve to keep out the wind or the sun or whatever people wanted. See, you could get a little protection from the weather in, in the winter. Yeah, definitely. It could seal them up pretty tightly because they were kind of uh, like bars within the mm -hmm. canvas that would ride in the grooves. Yeah. So they were pretty taut when they were pulled down. Okay, you got your exit and your entrance right there. Was this, is this, this where the people went in and out? Right. This was the, pay, it was called pay as you enter. So you mm -hmm. entered here and then when they came to the next stop, you could either leave at the end or on that side there. Yeah. Okay. And so the benefit of that is you can build the system in increments and uh -huh. you don't have to have loops or wires. Wherever you stop building, you can use it to that point. Whereas yeah. if you have a single-ended car that doesn't reverse, then you have to turn it around to come back. Also, these will handle ADA equipment on both sides in the middle. Uh -huh. So those with limited mobility can also use it uh, when it's in operation. So when this is rebuilt, it's going to have a uh, uh, operator stand at each end. There'll be an operator stand here and an operator stand at that end. Okay.